Hi, good afternoon. And we're in the ZP Coventry lab um, here near the um, university. And what we're going to do now is I'm just going to quickly start a piece of software, but the software is actually driving this robot. So this robot, um, as you can see here, we've got approximately 50 um, sensors or 50 screen printed electrodes at the moment um, on the robot. And you can see these little black connectors. What makes this robot quite unusual is it's moving from station to station. So we've got different, we've just used food coloring today just to illustrate this, but we have different stations where you can have different chemicals and we have a couple of, let's say, wash stations at the very far end. And the black connectors are actually because we're making an electrical connection with each one of these, let's say in this example, screen printed electrodes, could it be, but it could be other types of electrodes like wire electrodes or sputtered electrodes. And what you can see happening is the robot is going to each solution at which point we can do something like an electropolymerization, electrodeposition, we could just do dipping, as in such terms, dip coating. So we could do passive um, deposition, which I would call dip coatings fairly passive, or we can do active deposition, as in electroplating, electropolymerization um, type of deposition. And you can see that every time we've been to a station, we can then go to a wash station and essentially um, clean off the um, X materials. Now this entire run, we're just doing a little demo here, takes about um, one minute, six uh, seconds. So it gives you a sense that you can do 50 or more electrodes in about a minute. So it gives you a sense of the kind of higher volume type manufacturing you can do with a robotic system like this. And this is unique to um, Zimmer Peacock. So thank you very much.